How are you, Mr. Josh? I'm good. How are you? I am wonderfully blessed as always. Thank you so much. And so are you. Well, thank you. And congratulations on your movie fan size. Thank you very it's much. It's fun. Just the right size. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what made you want to do Fun Size as your first full feature film? Well, uh, I love stories about teenagers. I love coming of age stories. Obviously, the uh, shows that I've done, like The O.C. and Gossip Girl, had those kinds of uh, you know stories for, for that age group. Uh, and when I read the script, by Max Werner. It was his first screenplay. He's a writer for uh, The Colbert Report. So uh, very funny, very smart, very original. Uh, I love the idea of a movie set on Halloween. I'd never seen a movie that celebrated Halloween. You know, any movie that's about Halloween is usually involving, you know, dismemberment right. and people being killed. Right. Uh, and also I thought the movie had a tremendous amount of heart to it, that there's real emotion at the core of this story that I think is really going to surprise people. It's interesting that the script by Max Werner was um, part of the Blacklist script yeah. of 2000. 2010. Yeah, it's was, a, it was a yeah, it was a really acclaimed script that we were lucky to, to get our hands on. And for me, it reminded me of all my favorite movies from when I was growing up. You know, the Amblin movies like Goonies, uh, or movies like Adventures in Babysitting, the John Hughes movies like right. Sixteen Candles. Uh, it really had the spirit of those movies where it was fun and funny, and there was like outrageous characters, but also uh, you know really deeper kind of emotion to the to the story as well that will help it endure. That's what I was writing in my notes last night. I was uh -huh. like, oh, it's a raunchier John Hughes movie. <laughs> John Hughes movies are raunchier than uh, than true. you remember. Ba back in the eighties, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is Nickelodeon's first PG thirteen movie, and so we wanted it to be a movie that the whole family could go see, uh, teenagers could go see, kids at college could go see, and if you're, and if you're a kid going to see it, uh, you feel like, oh, I'm getting away with something, which is how I felt when I went and saw those John Hughes movies. Here's what I love about the movie, is that like the OC, you have a perfect blend of comedy and drama in oh, there. Thank you. Um, and I adore Chelsea Handler's monologue. Chelsea Handler's great in the movie. <laughs> I think she's really gonna surprise people, because you expect Chelsea Handler to be funny, and she is funny, but I think she's really emotional in this movie as well. I mean, you know, moms who've seen the movie really relate to her character, and she tugs on the heartstrings. I mean, yeah, yeah, and you just kept the camera centered on her, and you just see her emotion. I'm yeah. like, wow. Yeah, no, I think it's she surprised. I think she surprised herself in that scene. Wow. Yeah, I'm really proud of her. And Johnny Knoxville, of course. Johnny Knoxville <laughs> is hilarious in the movie. He plays Jorgen. He spends most of the movie dressed as Dog the Bounty Hunter. Uh, he's Albert's adversary. Uh, in the movie, and you know, Johnny Knoxville has been run over by a bull. He's been <laughs> shot out of a porta potty or whatever terrible, horrible things, abuses he's he's visited upon himself. But I don't think he's ever met any uh, uh, you know foe quite like Albert. And when Johnny met Jackson, who plays Albert, it was like instant bromance. And I love you know you know the real star of the show is the little kid. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I mean, Jackson, who plays Albert, is amazing. I mean, he is, the, the, the line where Jackson ends and Albert begins is a very, very fine it's line. Blurred. It's a blurred line. And I uh, think kids of, of all ages uh, are going to love Albert because oh, he could be a hero to them. I yeah. mean, he is pure, pure id. But oh, I, what I are you going to be for Halloween? What am I going to be for yeah. Halloween? I'm going to be a dad for Halloween. Oh. I had a baby uh, a few months ago, and we're gonna and we're going to dress her up. Oh. So we'll torture her. I will be Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> Or Gangnam Art Sai. <laughs> Both are good. Very current, very good references. <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thanks. Again. Bye bye.